On Friday, the Florida Board of Medicine is scheduled to review a Department of Health proposal that would essentially ban transition-related care for transgender youth. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen breaks down why Florida Surgeon General says this should be pushed through, while an LGBTQ advocate says this could have dire repercussions. Florida's Department of Health is proposing physicians in the state be banned from providing treatments such as hormone therapy and puberty blocking medications to transgender youths. The agency points to studies arguing the risks of these treatments outweigh the benefits and call the evidence in support of them weak. Florida's Surgeon General supports the move, saying the recommendations are based on a lack of conclusive evidence and the high risk for long-term irreversible harms from these treatments. But Florida's LGBTQ consumer advocate and member of the trans community, Nathan Broomer, doesn't believe the effort is truly about protecting the health of the community. They found a handful of bad studies, some of which um, have been refuted, documented and refuted ad nauseum. Broomer views the move as part of a broader push by Republicans to target transgender people. It's about removing rights and liberties, um, and it's really about erasing a portion of our population. He worries over what message this sends to the trans community. We know the negative implications on mental health. Um, we know what the rates of depression and anxiety and suicidality are. This move to impose bans on transgender treatments comes at the same time Florida's Agency for Healthcare Administration has proposed blocking Medicaid from paying for them. That has yet to be finalized. Hannah Deneen, 10, Tampa Bay. Now in preparation for that meeting, the Board of Medicine posted 1,113 pages of documents on its public website related to gender dysphoria treatment, which includes the studies Nathan was referencing. Again, this meeting is set for Friday.